Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors. Today we're talking about lever action rifles again and in this case our Marlin 336C chambered in 3030 Winchester. Now fair warning there's going to be a lot of redundant information in this video for the more experienced shooters. Now just as a side note um, you're probably wondering what happened to uh, all of our 3030 uh, ammunition testing. Now, uh, between a little bit of trouble with uh, YouTube and uh, testing it in below freezing weather with all kinds of craziness happening, uh, we decided to restart our testing from the beginning when the weather is a little bit more amicable, just to make 100% sure that we do give all these different uh, types of ammunition a fair shake. Now, during our, our 3030 testing, uh, we've had a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, uh, suggest that we uh, put a scope on this rifle. Now, Fair point. Uh, these are fantastic hosts uh, for uh, magnified optics. They even come tapped from the factory for them. So they really, really do work well that way. Um, now for our new shooters, uh, what are the benefits of shooting with a scope? Now firstly, um, if you look through the aperture of a scope, we'll call it the field of view for this video, uh, you're going to notice a crosshair or a reticle. Now with that, uh, that never moves in relation to your uh, field of view. So you know your reticle is always in the center of, of your scope and you'll be able to put that exactly where you want to put it. The other benefit of that, it, it lets you see further. So, um, you know, scopes vary in, in their magnification, but it seriously increases uh, the distance that you can see with your eyes, where you're limited with uh, iron sights in that regard. A magnified optic will, most of the time, depending on your rifle and the ammunition choices, allow you to shoot tiny little groups, right? Now, why would anybody want to do that? Now, the main reason for that, and I do understand people do get obsessed with that sometimes, um, is just to make sure that your rifle consistently hits in the same spot, so you know it's accurate, right? Can you do the same thing with iron sights? Sure. Might not be as precise as the... Uh, as uh, magnified optic, but there are many people that are very skilled with iron sights, way more skilled than I am. So if this is all the benefits you get from a magnified optic, why would anybody want to use iron sights? Well, firstly, iron sights leans itself towards snap shooting, what some people call it, or fast shooting, really, because you can pick up your sights pretty quickly. For example, look, a deer. So it's pretty fast. Iron sights are also very, very durable. Now, I understand a lot of the magnified optics, especially in the newer ones, are very durable. They're very good. Uh, however, I doubt if they're as tough as iron sights. You can knock iron sights out of alignment, but it doesn't happen very often. And especially if you're going to use it like I am uh, for a ranch gun or a, a camping gun, you know, that kind of thing. So when you purchase a rifle like this, they will come with uh, buckhorn sights, which looks something like this on the picture. Now, even though they're very serviceable and there are people that can shoot them very, very well, I am not one of them. Uh, personally, I prefer uh, peep sights. So a peep sight changes your buckhorn sights from the picture on the left to the picture on the right, which is an aperture with the front sight post. And for me, I'm able to pick those up quicker with my eyes. It's also easier on my eyes. Case in point, look, a bear messing with our camp. So again, I can pick them up pretty quickly, get on target and make my shot. And again, that's, that's one of the big benefits for me for uh, using iron sights, right? Now, in particular, the Alaskan Skinner sights that I, I'm so fond of are very elegantly made. It's a very simple design, very elegant design. And uh, you can adjust your rear peep sight by rotating it for elevation. And in my case, I also needed a new front side blade. Now, all it took for me is a couple of emails to Skinner. They sorted me out with exactly what I need, right? So in our future testing, I am going to be using my iron sights because that's what my rifle's configured for. And that's how I plan on using it, right? Again, camp gun, ranch gun, uh, that sort of thing that can be bumped around and not going to be knocked out of place. You know, I can't recommend these uh, Skinner sights enough. They're fantastic, really well made, and they've proven themselves to be very effective out to 200 yards. Let's roll in some footage to show you what I mean.
for my purposes, this is the perfect setup and I really oh. enjoy it. Oh. Now, I'm not trying to tell you what you should be doing. Oh. I'm just oh. telling you what I'm doing and the reasons why. Like I said, this is a really useful setup for me personally. Oh, look, a cougar attacking horses. And yes, guys, that's actually happened out here. All right, folks, if you enjoyed our video, learned something new today, uh, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button on the next page and leave us a comment down below. It's incredibly important for us to uh, survive in the uh, wasteland of uh, content of YouTube. And uh, y'all stay safe and we'll see you next time.